What's up everybody? Got a package in the mail today. So let's go ahead and open it up. It's pretty heavy. I ordered some, another thing from Lamp One Designs. Um, if you guys remember, they're who I ordered my uh, hair removal kit from. So if you didn't see that, I'll put a link in the video, like right now. But anyways, these, uh, this guy, uh, I got some bar ends. God damn! Always packaged really well. Always packaged really well. So I got some bar ends. If you didn't hear me. Here we go. Boom! Schoolie bar ends. So Schoolie is a, uh, is a member on the EX500 forum site. Um, if you have an EX500, that website has worked wonders for me. Everybody on there is really nice and really helpful. And uh, my ninja would not be what it'd be today. If it wasn't for them, for sure. Um, so anyways, uh, there's a guy named Schoolie on there who uh, custom makes and machines these, uh, ooh, these bar ends. Um, yeah. So anyways, it comes with some uh, instructions, but pretty easy. Just unscrew the old ones and screw back on the new ones. But right now, let me get a scale, and uh, we're going to measure the difference in weight between these ones that came on them. Um, these aren't stock, they're custom, but they're uh, almost the same weight as the, the stock ones. And the brand new, the brand new ones. So I'm using my kitchen scale, don't tell my mom. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, the old ones. And they are at 5 ounces, as you can see. So they're about 2.5-ish each. Now the new ones. Well, it actually just maxed, maxed out the the scale, but these are, uh, okay, we'll just measure one at a time. Okay, so it's about a pound and, so 16, 17, 18, 19 ounces each. So combined total, too damn heavy. So let me go ahead and talk about why bar ends uh, are important and what they do and what are the advantages and disadvantages of having them. So bar ends uh, really don't have much of a purpose, but, uh, we can go with weight first. So having heavy bar ends opposed to lightweight bar ends, such as my stock ones versus my brand new ones that are uh, more than four times heavier. So why have heavier ones? They reduce vibration on the road. So as you're taking your motorcycle down, the little bumps in the road will be uh, absorbed by your suspension and then be transferred to you by your handlebar so you can feel the road. And if you have lightweight ones, um, it's like, think about it as holding a, a heavy camera opposed to your phone camera. If you're holding your phone camera, your hand's always going to shake. But if you're holding a really heavy thing, it's going to stabilize itself. So that's the same thing with bars. So the heavy weights on the ends will stabilize your bars and absorb all those uh, extra small little vibrations. So uh, obviously you'll be able to ride longer and your hands won't feel like shit when you're done riding. So bar ends are also important in length. So the length of your bar end will also help your uh, plastics be saved when the bike tips over, if it does, and uh, your bar end will take some of the fall instead of uh, your hands or your garbage uh, bar ends. Let's actually measure the bar ends right now. So as you can see that uh, the new ones are longer, so this will put the plastics and tilt the bike up at a greater angle or at more angle than the old ones. And this will also protect my bike. So I'm all about protecting my bike and my plastics. Because plastics are expensive as hell. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and put it on the Ninja.
Alright guys, really, really easy how to install this. Just really just put this up to the bar. And then go to the other side. This little space right here, or this little gap, probably be filled in as I use an oil cycle. The grips will, be, uh, will stretch out. Uh, these grips are still good. If not, I'll replace them with some rentals, but they look good for now.